Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How was your break? I hope it was uh, really refreshing. And uh, maybe you went outside or you had a coffee. And I really hope you took a break from the screen. We're on our screens nowadays so much, either on our phone or on our laptop. So uh, I really hope you had a lovely break. I uh, enjoyed my break. I had a fresh pear, uh, and it was really nice and juicy. Um, and if you're not refreshed, then you will be in a moment as we have an exciting, energetic, interactive break. Um, not break, interactive experiment uh, with the Nemo Science Museum in Amsterdam, uh, which is actually quite special because all museums are still closed due to the pandemic. And uh, it's really nice to have this moment with uh, an expert of the Science Museum. And I love this museum. It's very big, and if you haven't been there before, uh, I can really give you a tip to go there as soon as you're in Amsterdam because it makes you feel a kid again. Um, everything to do with science, you can do it in the Nemo Museum. Now, I'd like to introduce our Nemo expert for this afternoon. Please welcome Pietje van Wijngaarde. Hi. Hello, Pietje. I like your name. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I had some uh, special uh, requirements. It was a bit exciting, but uh, everything worked, so I hope uh, you will enjoy it. Thank God. Thank God everything works. <laughs> um, I believe the ingredients... Know. You never know what can happen, but uh, yeah. You never know what can happen, exactly. No. Um, but that makes it exciting, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, for all the participants, they need a piece of paper. Right. Yeah, that's one of the later uh, experiments. First, we're going to start with some uh, uh, other things, but uh, very Great. refreshing, I assure you. Cool. Now, now, Peter, one of your quotes is never stop learning. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the most important thing in life is to be curious, to explore, to try things and sometimes do some borders crossing, but always trying and have fun. Yeah. I, I agree. That's the spirit. So um, I wish you uh, a great session and uh, with the participants, have fun. Thank you very much. I was talking about something very exciting and that's something I, we made. And um, uh, I'll show you. It's a giant iceberg. Uh, it's real. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will keep a bit of hole, but we'll see. Um, Today, 109 years ago, uh, there was a ship and it sunk, the Titanic. Yeah, a real one. It's uh, actually made of uh, polyesterine, but okay. Um, they thought it had a really uh, quite an, uh, uh, somewhat unsuccessfully maiden trip. Uh, sorry, I, I have a little blackout, but it will come back. Um, 109 years ago. 309 years ago, yeah. Um, what happened? The Titanic was going into the ice sea. My, my bucket is not big enough for, for the ship and the iceberg, but I'll see ya. And the man in the crow's nest, his name was uh, Frederick, no, Frederick Fleet, what's in the name? But he saw they were uh, floating and then he saw the iceberg and said, iceberg! And then they turned the ship. <laughs> And then the iceberg scratched the side of the ship and it ripped it open and it opened uh, something six comp uh, watertight compartments. And so the whole ship was filling up with water and sunk. It's actually, it's quite, if Frederick didn't alarm, didn't give his alarm and the ship would go into the iceberg head on, it probably only had two or three, um, uh, compartments broken or open, so probably it wouldn't have sunk. If the Titanic didn't have sunk, would it be this famous? Would we have a movie? Um, Celine Dion, Kate and, uh, and, and Jack? Okay, Jack and Rose, sorry. Um, no, we wouldn't. Because the sister ships of the Titanic, like the Olympic and the Britannic, nobody knows about them. So is Frederick Fleet, is he a hero or isn't he? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, 
you know, maybe about the wisdom of the crowd. That's a question, that's a way of, of finding out data by uh, collecting a lot and then make an average and see if it's, you can do something about it. And I'm curious, should we as a group can estimate how much this iceberg is weighed, weighed the weight of the iceberg? In real, it was 300,000 kilograms, tons, and then 300,000 tons, and the ship was 550,000 tons. So the uh, comparison is okay. But what do you think? How can we find out? If you all write down in the chat how much you think the iceberg is weighing, so only in grams. Um, Jeroen of Schuurt in the back is in the studio. He will calculate everything and then he will give me back the average of what you estimate what this iceberg is weighing. So not the, the mass or the volume, only the weight. Put it in grams. Don't put any dots or, uh, or words with it, only the numbers. Yeah? If you put it in the chat, we can have a look at it. Um, wisdom of the crowd, it's one of the first mentions of it was by Aristotle. It's something to do about a dinner. I'm not sure you will find it out. Look it up later. Um, what will I do? Um, if this water mass is melting, what will happen to the level? It's also very, always a nice question with questions about the science, but it's all about uh, uh, Archimedes. You can find it yourself as well. I think it will stay the same. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to do a little experiment with ice cubes. This conference on what is all about collaboration and staying together and combine data. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I have some ice cubes here. So, and I try, I'm going to try to connect them with a thread. And I put a thread on. And I have some salt. I put the salt on the ice cubes. It's not the nicest way for you. You can't see it this way. Yeah? Should I do it in a separate container? So, da -da -da. Da -da -da. so I do it like this. This is an experiment you can do at home. At the party, it's always a really nice one. Ice cubes, a thread, salt on top of the cubes. So. Da -da -da. And now we have to wait a few sec a few minutes. So we're gonna do another experiment in between. Yeah. Um, if, uh, if in a research they need to do the um, person uh, do research of pain, they're not really gonna actually hurt you because uh, that's not nice, that's not ethical. What they do is they ask you to put your hand into a bucket with cold water with ice. Now, I have quite a big bucket of water here with ice, and they ask you to put your hand in it. And then they say, if you say swear words, I can't do it now, or hold a hand of somebody you love, or maybe sing a song of Celine Dion. No, no, no it doesn't help. Ouch, try this at home. Have a look at our little ice cubes. Did it work? Oh, we'll wait a longer. Later, wait a little longer. So, um, we'll come back on it. If you, like Rose and Jack, are in this icy cold sea and you forgot your whistle, what are you going to do? Because you need some help. Okay, here's the piece of paper. Yes? Tear a piece off. Fold it in half. Yeah. At the folded, the folded side, make a little hole. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
put your fingers like this and fold the little flapjes, the little pieces like this. And then blow on this particular place. Yeah, okay, there we go. Maybe they come to rescue you. Don't mention that it will, it's wet, it won't work. I think, I hope. Okay. Um, they always say you have to put a hole in here. I tried it. I tried it without holes. I tried it with seven holes. I tried all different sizes. No problem at all. Try it. You can always enjoy your next online meeting, making a whistle and go ahead with each other. Should we have a look at the ice cubes? Ah, uh, uh, why always? My experiments doesn't work. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you try it. You try this at cell, yourself at home, probably works. Maybe more salt, more thread, more ice cubes, less everything. You know how research works. Try it, try it. Okay, we're gonna see if the data is coming back from short now. And, um, oh, I have to put my finger on it. He sent it by, yeah. He said it more than, he said more than one. Oh, always the same. I have wet hands, it didn't work. Shoot, what's the number? Data. Meta is here. Maybe you remember Meta? Meta data from uh, the Tuesday. She uh, can give me Hi. the answer. I will show you the answer. I no. Okay. Always the same. We have three minutes left. The same. Okay, okay, okay. I have a nice one. I have a number. 10 kilograms. Oh, whoa. You thought quite a lot. This is much too more. Correction. I think it's a nice job, uh, Short. You did well done, but um, if it's in grams, it's quite a lot. So I think it is 11 kilograms and 60 grams. That's what I think it should be. And what was the real data? Meta, can you give me the real data? The real data. Okay, and this was, of course, really, really safe. Eh? Fairless data sharing. Ta-da! Real data for Meta. Okay. Not even far off. Not even far off. I think we did an excellent job. Actually, it is proven, it is proven that the uh, wisdom of the crowd not always have really accurate uh, some, uh, results, but we did a great job. Thank you very much. I think uh, I'll hope you're gonna try this at home. Don't try this big one because uh, that was quite a job, but the other ones you can do and uh, enjoy. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.